Hey guys, this is Subsankar Hazra. Today I am with you the second part of the northeast of India. So guys, for the queries, you can either comment in the comment sections or contact me with the given number. Those who are actually searching for the website, you can search Sankar's Sankar's Geography for OPSC. Okay, this would be the site Sankar's Geography for the OPSC maximum students they are having problem to open the site okay so in the first part of the northeast of india we have discussed uh, like mountains river etc today we will discuss what let's start with the uh, uh, that means crops fish are cultivated in the northeast india but before that i will try to explain what is sifting cultivation the sifting cultivation in northeast it is known as what june cultivation okay so here is agriculture that is the terrace terrace and june cultivation both are done in the northeast region of india okay that would be discussed the crops is tea coffee rubber tobacco wheat jute pulses peas vegetable fruits organic farming uh, then it would be your this would be the crops okay and apricot almonds some region is having also almonds so you may ask which are the first organic state of india also sikkim you know very well so the rice tea coffee rubber tobacco wheat jute pulses peas vegetable fruits organic and horticulture that is so these are the crops which is cultivated in the north east part of india now the tribes come to the tribes they might ask you the tribes garo khasi jankya dena and meghalaya okay then Naga, Nagaland, Mani, Manipur, Bodo, Assam, Chakma, Mara, Lai, Mizoram, Hajong, or Anjal Pradesh. Okay, so these are the tribes which found in the northeast of India. Apart from this, other tribes also there. Okay, now what that is Jhum cultivation. Jhum cultivation, or this is what? Sifting, sifting cultivation, June cultivation or sifting cultivation. That means they would suppose a region having forest. What a region is having forest, they will clear the forest. They will clear the forest to get the new agricultural land. Okay, so they will clear the first forest. To have a new agricultural field. That is why the first either they will set the fire in the forest or they will slash the forest. Okay. So this is the way they can obtain the new land for the agriculture. This is known as sifting cultivation or the June cultivation in the northeast region of India. Then after cultivating for the two to three years, when the fertility of the soil will decrease, they will lift that place and they will move to the another place which place also having forest and they will again clear the forest to get the new land and they will abandon the fast land okay so this was the fast land after cultivating two to four years they will left it and they will move to a new land then again they will cultivate for the two to four years or might be five years that depend upon the fertility as until and unless the fertility of the soil is mental so they will uh, utilize the soil or the particular reason then again they will shift to the next region this is the separate country cultivation which is known as the jhum cultivation in the northeastern part of india so jhum cultivation is usually done in the mountain region then what is terras terras suppose this is the mountain terras cultivations are that means the steep like what okay so this type of mountains are converted. The slope of the mountain, this is the word slope of the mountain. The slope of the mountain converted into the steep like. This is known as terrace cultivation. Okay. Terrace cultivation. This is again down in the mountain region. Okay. Next, I will come to the wetland. Wetland is Loktak Lake, 
the four bill and rudrasaga in what this is in uh, your tripura the four flag in assam lok tok in manipur now comes to the fauna fauna of northeast tiger also found like the orang okay national parks orang mauling national park so these are then it would be your what kajiranga nokrik all this region having tigers there are two types of tigers found in northern region one is royal bengal tiger other is leopards or the snow leopards or the tigers okay so this is now flying flying squirrel the fauna which is red ticked the fauna which is red ticked like this and this they are the critical endangered fauna now this is uh, you can ultimately matlab some portion of the environment would be covered like this so tiger also found no doubt flying squirrel that is arunachal pradesh namdhapa this is critically endangered okay next red panda endangered sikkim it is what sikkim one of the most beautiful place or the state of india you can visit there golden langur this is also found okay so golden langur also found in nilgiri or western ghat pygmy hawk this is critically endangered assam this is assam rhino this is vulnerable again assam elephant vulnerable okay hook lock given this is again your endangered this is endangered then hornbill hornbill also found this is b for vulnerable bison snow leopards vulnerable sangai sangai is a deer species which is found in lok tok sangai the deer species this is also known as the dancing deer which is found in the fungi so sangais are the deer species these are the endangered found in loktok lake they are known as dancing deer okay they live over fungi fungi are the circular grass patches found in lok tok okay so they lived over the fungis next comes to the national parks so kanchen dam or the kanchen janga biosphere reserve this is the only mixed biosphere reserve of india having biological importance and your cultural importance that is why mixed heritage means mixed biosphere reserve means biological and cultural next nokrik biosphere reserve meghalaya manas assam biosphere reserve kaziranga assam orang these are the national parks they are not biosphere reserve orang kaziranga pavitra pavitra is a sanctuary so bird sanctuary pavitra orang tiger kaziranga also tiger elephant tiger then tribu sikhao assam this is the purbi assam then molly it is in arunachal pradesh tiger namdhappa it is again arunachal pradesh this is biosphere reserve this is one of the most important biosphere reserve namdhappa because only national park sorry biosphere reserve in india which is having all types of forest that means evergreen semi evergreen uh, that uh, next is moist deciduous okay from tropical to then temperate forest also like coniferous dihang dima again arunachal pradesh dhappa mizoram this is again a sanctuary so these are the facts of the northeast of india now i will ask i will give you five questions questions number 1 question number 1 is the malda gap Malda Gap is situated located located between 
quits to mountain. Okay, quits to mountains. Quits to mountains. Option A. Garo and Khasi. Option B. Khasi and Jaintia. Option C. Between Garo and Raj Mahal. Option D. All. Okay. Question number two. Question number two is Which National Park of India having tropical to temperate forest? Tropical to temperate forest. It would be okay. Option would be A. Kajiranga. B. Nanda Devi. C. Kanchanjunga. D. Namdhappa. Question number three. Which state of India is surrounded by three sides by Bangladesh? Okay, option A, Meghalaya, option B, Sikkim, sorry, option B would be Mijoram, Mijo, option C, Tripura, option D, Assam. So this is the three questions. Next. Two questions. What is Fumdi? Question number four. What is Fumdi? A. It is a is uh, is a maman b is a deer species the deer species found in Assam C is a nocturnal animal D is a tiger Okay Last questions National Waterway 6 is 
over which river option a bamha putra option b diha c lohit d barak so you have to answer apart from this next question is six questions which is the Sikkim was ruled by which tribes so this is the six questions given to you you have to answer me in the comment section okay thank you all for watching this